what you are seeing right now is my custom MPC 1000 with XLCD and with my own MPC tilt kit volume 3.2 but this video is not all about the XLCD and it's not all about my MPC tilt kit it's all about the JJOS for XLCD in this video I will demonstrate how you can use the trim mode or how you can detect the right BPM of any sample but before I go with that I have to play this beat to uh, uh, to show you how I made the beat or how it should uh, sound like when you already detect the actual BPM You see how I made the beat, the sample and the drum beat and everything are in sync. I even have that rolling drum and everything there but I didn't put it. Now uh, let's try to uh, go get the, the sample. Now let's go to our uh, trim mode. Now uh, in this uh, trim mode window, you will see there's a tempo uh, tab. So we're gonna press that there you go now usually when you try to when you go to a trim mode when making a beat and using a sample the default setting of the BPM is 120 right there now when I try to play this it's so uh, I supposed to hear like four four bound uh, four bars counting but when we try to play it right now uh, before you make some kind of uh, I mean when you try to cut a sample you gotta do it like four bars but by default the BPM is gonna be 120 and then the bar is gonna be one bar so we're gonna set it up to four bar there you go now now we should once we uh, play this we should we should hear four bar let's try to count the bar one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So that's like less than four bars. That's like three and a half bars. So uh the reason why it doesn't count up to four bar is because the BPM is not accurate. The BPM is not supposed to be one twenty. So we can easily hear if the if the sample is uh, out of sync or it's not in a right BPM. You can click the the click sound right here. Now, when we play it, you try to listen with the try to listen with the uh, sample and then the click. You will hear the big difference. The reason why the click running so fast and then the, the sample running slow it's because the BPM is set to 120 which is not the real accurate BPM of the sample. 
Now let's try to go to uh, BPM and try to increase and decrease it. Uh, look what gonna happen. So the more the more you stretch it, the more you increase it, the more your sample get uh get uh short and then the click will uh run rapidly. So when turning the the data wheel, you will see the actual cutting of the uh, sample. As you can see it there, if you really want to align the, the, the sample into uh, it, like counting uh, one, two, three, four, you gotta you gotta try to align it like this, right there. As you can see it there, I'm already aligned, but it's still not good because the BPM is so bad. Now the actual BPM of this sample is 92. Now look what's gonna happen. We're gonna put this into 92. Now uh, we calculate the beep the bit while ago and it's it's like uh at set um, I mean the BPM is set to 120 and then when we try to calculate the the sample it, we only counted like uh, three and a half bars. So right now, I already set the BPM to 92. Now, if we try to calculate the BPM again by ears, this is what's gonna happen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. One, two, three, four. You see, now it, now it automatically loops by itself and you will see I mean you will hear the seamless loop of the sample now if you try to turn on the click again or the metronome again you will hear the beat and the click or the metronome they are in sync. As you can see and hear, the BPM are set into correct uh, amount of, uh, I mean, are set properly. And then the metronome or the click are in sync with the uh with the uh with the sample now if you try to zoom in you will see you will see that how how the sample get cut so you can see there are uh, you see it they're all aligned very well aligned with the with the right beat. Let's say this one one two three four one two three four this is gonna be uh eight bit so that's gonna be four bar I mean two bars and then another eight bit right here. Each square count into four bits so this this whole thing is gonna be sixteen bit which is equivalent to four bar Now you can you can try to uh change the the counting of the metronome like it's either one eight or one four. Let's try to let's try to play that. Now you can do it like uh sixteen. But the right the right uh counting it's either one by Four or one by eight. This is gonna be one by four. It's the same counting that I'm using with my ear, just like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Now, if you try to turn on the click, you will hear the same counting that the metronome. 
counting like the way I am. That like the way I am counting. Now you can count something like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 So each each square is count into four. I mean eight bits, and then eight bits right there, and then you will count all the way to thirty-two bits. In that uh, like uh, it's like times two counting, but the the normal counting would be uh uh like this one two one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve there you go now if we try to count like one two three four five six seven eight one two three it's gonna be like this let me let me double check again. One two three four five six seven eight. 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 One two three. So when you try to turn on the click or the metronome, you will set it to one eight, and it will count the same way like the way I count a while ago. One two three four five six seven eight. Let's hear it. One two three four five six seven eight. One two three four five six seven eight. One two three four five six seven eight. Now, if you try to calculate much faster than that, it's, it's gonna be crazy. But the right uh, counting is gonna be is it's either one two three four five or one two three four five six seven eight something like that. So, but usually I count it just like this. So that's how you uh, that's how you uh, detect the right BPM of any sample.